what is an ipo hello and welcome to yet another episode of bsc's investor education awareness series i'm siddharth zarabi and i will today take you through the fascinating world of ipos now the term ipo actually is a short form of initial public offering this means that it is the first sale of stocks to the public by any company normally a company and you perhaps know this raises money in two ways a company either issues debt and that comes through bonds debentures as well as convertible debentures or a company raises money through equity known as shares trust units or funds now if the company has never issued equity to the general public before that issue is called an initial public offering when a company goes public it raises cash and a lot of cash actually issuing an ipo opens many doors for that company uh, for example going public can help the company get better rates when they issue debt secondly if there is a good demand from the public the company can always issue more stock this means in times of mergers and acquisitions that stock can be used as a part of the deal thirdly issuing shares means improved liquidity this can help the company to implement some features such as esops employee stock options that can bring talented people into the company and help retain leadership executives getting listed on the stock exchange carries with it a good deal of prestige as well as some amount of responsibility today even small setups are going public and issuing ipos to expand their business and get that growth capital but what you need to understand before you invest in an ipo is that an ipo is just selling a part of that company's business so if a small company that has never made a profit before and has been founded with venture capital funding for example you would actually like to dig a little deeper into that entire company and its financials there have been many cases when such companies made it to the market and raised cash only to make their venture capitalists rich because those initial venture capital investors get an exit so this exit strategy means that the company has no desire to be there for the long term and create durable sustainable long term value for shareholders which is why ipos must be viewed with a good deal of caution before investing and this applies more to individual investors specifically with this we end today's episode and i hope that the topic of an ipo is now much more clearer to you and your understanding of what to do in an ipo has become that much more clearer and like always as i leave you today i leave you with more expert advice take a look at so the name ipo is basically initial public offering as i was making a point earlier when the company wants to raise money they come to investors and investor in turn subscribe to the issue which is called as a public issue the initial public offering or public issue as we call it as uh is the one i think where the company raises money and investor subscribe to it so that is an activity which is called uh, ipo it is more i think a product name as you may want to call it as wherein i think in the primary market the company makes an issue it is called as a public issue or an ipo in the modern language